Now then, if you'll wear this. A quick question. What's this about, Head Priest? Can you really not tell? It's a magic item. Uh, I was trying to ask what we're going to use it for. Would you please fill me in, sir? Mine's the only one who uses this to tie her hair, and it's not just that. She's brought us all manner of creations, but the most surprising thing of all is her passion for books. She treasures literature, and even wrote some picture books for children. Her obsession is clearly abnormal. What goes through that little head? With this circlet, I shall take a look into your past, mine. Before I was mine, I lived in a vastly different era as Urano Motosu. Psychology, religion, history, geography, education, folklore, mathematics, physics, Geology, chemistry, biology, art, health, language, fiction. Literature was my life. I loved books more than anything. They held the wealth of mankind's knowledge, and the thought of living a life surrounded by them filled me with joy. But then... On the verge of death, I uttered a prayer. Oh God, may my next life... Once again, be filled with all kinds of books. certain I died. Of course, I guess this could be part of some weird dying dream. Hmm? Oh. I'm not dreaming. What's going on? Just what am I doing here? Oh. Who is that? She has green hair. Ve, no Tom, Kima. What? I don't understand what she's saying. Someone's memories are bursting into my mind! Mm. 
mine. I'm not mine. My name is Urano Motosu. Mine. Are you all right, dear? I can understand her now. Mine. How are you feeling? My mother. This was the moment Urano Motosu began her life as mine. That was when I suddenly realized. My mother had been just as happy as I was when I landed my librarian job. But now I would never see her again. I'm so sorry. Mom. If only I had a book. That's right. If I have books, I can deal with things no matter where I find myself. I will. I have to. All I need are my books. Oh, I wonder where I can find one. Hey there. Are you okay to be up and about? Turi, my older sister. Ask her. Hey, Turi, would you bring me a book? A book? Mm, I want to read something. What's this book thingy? Huh? Does she really not know what a book is? Hang on a sec. How does that even happen? Could it be possible there are no books for kids in this house? Mine, are you okay? Mine? How's your fever? Hey, Mom. It looks like her head is bothering her. <sighs> the fever is finally starting to drop a little bit, but I guess you're still not feeling your best. Sleep tight until dinner time. Okay, sweetie? Turi, I'll need your help. Sure. This is my chance to track down some books. Finding a book is worth it. Hmm. Clothes, huh? And whatever this is... It would have been perfect if there were books ready to be found in this room. But I guess that would be too easy. Well then, it's time to check the next room over. Oh. And we've already hit a snag in our plan. Them books are worth it. in here, I bet. A storeroom? No good. It's locked. I wonder if it leads outside. I looked all over the house and I couldn't find any books at all. But why? In this world, books could be expensive. Maybe. Even in the history of my world, books were rare and pricey till the printing press was invented, which made their mass production possible. At the time, if you were an upper class, you would never get the chance to read one. Oh, bother. There must be something to read, though. If not books, then newspapers or calendars. Nothing. 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 Nothing! Why is there no writing anywhere? How the heck am I supposed to live here? We're back, mine. 
Now, now, didn't I say to stay in bed until dinner time? And all this, look at this mess you've made. I want a book. Huh? Tell me what's wrong, darling. Does it hurt somewhere? I can't find a book anywhere! I woke up as mine three days ago, and all three days have been an absolute hell. Also, life here totally sucks beyond comparison. The toilet is a bedpan which is dumped out the window, and then Dad, who I barely even know, grabs me to change my clothes. given up struggling, and even get them to wipe me down. Tootie thought that was weird, but it made me feel a lot better. And then... What are you doing, Mine? I'm trying to tie up my hair because it's bothering me, but it's not working out. Well, you do have really straight hair for one thing. Yeah, if I use a ribbon, it slips away. Oh, that's right. You mind if I break this? No way, that's my doll! You know how important it is to me, you meanie! Uh, I'm sorry. I want a hairpin, but I guess you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. I need a thin wooden stick just like the legs on your doll to do my hair. If that's it, I could just make one for you instead of us breaking my toy. Is this close enough to what you wanted? Oh yeah, it's perfect, Tootie! So, how does that look? No, you can't do that. Grown-ups are the only ones allowed to wear their hair tied up. I didn't realize. Then would this be okay? Yeah, I think it should be. But from here, it looks like you've got a splinter stuck in the back of your head. Oh, that's fine. Now what about washing my hair? It's starting to feel gross and sticky. Mine, how are you feeling? Seems like your fever's gone. Are you still feeling tired? Nope. Great. Do you want to go out shopping with your mom then? Go shopping? I didn't find any books here at home, but there might be a bookstore out there. And if there is one, I won't feel so lonely with books. I'll watch over the house all you want, Mama. But you gotta convince her to buy me some. Sure. I want to go with you. Goodness, where'd all this energy come from? I know, it'll be fun. All right, we're ready to head to the market. Cold, scary, stinky! Okay, come hop on. Uh? You can't walk to the market on your own, right? Uh, mm. I see. Mine's body is pretty frail, so Mom's always given her piggyback rides. But I'm pretty sure I could handle this easily. Our building has five floors. Wow, this area is full of townhouses. Looks like that's where we get our drinking water from. When you turn seven, you'll get to go there for your baptism. Oh. 
Wow, that's an awfully big gate, isn't it, Mama? That's the Castletown Gate. Beyond it lies the Lord's Castle and the mansions of the rest of the area's nobility. Though nearby, it's like a different world to the rest of us. What about that wall? That's the city wall, which keeps us safe. Dad's a gatekeeper at the South Gate, remember? Huh? Oh, right. Yeah, gatekeeper. But if the Lord's Castle is located here and it's surrounded by such great walls, then I think it's safe to assume this place would be considered a big city. And yet, I don't see any writing anywhere in town either. Do these people not have a writing system at all? The thought hadn't even crossed my mind. Mine? We've reached the market. Huh? Can I have three? Sure thing. Fresh I hadn't even considered that they might not have a writing system. If that's true, then there's no way they're gonna have any books. Oh. Look, Mama! What's that on that plank? Oh, that. It tells us the price so you know how much you need in order to buy something. Numbers! They have a number system! Wow, so what does this one say, Mom? This is 20 Leon. And that's 23 Leon. Then, is this one 30? That's correct! I can't believe you picked it up so quickly! Aren't you clever? Mm, what is this stench? My dear, what's wrong? Dead chicken! Oh. <laughs> ah! oh. Oh. Mine? Sweetie, can you hear me? What happened? Well, you fainted and I had no idea what to do. Are you okay, Mine? I'm not feeling so well. Oh. That's a problem. We won't be able to get the shopping done. No, Mom. Go ahead. I'll just wait here. But... Uh... Pardon. Hmm? I'm not feeling very well. Do you mind if I wait here for a while? I promise I won't be any trouble. Oh my goodness! Such a polite young lady. I'm impressed. It's not a problem if you'd like to get your shopping done. You don't want her fainting on you again, do you? If you're worried, she's welcome to wait here in the shop for you. Nobody's going to try to kidnap her if she's in the back of the store with us. I'll be a good girl and wait. Thank you very much. I'll be right back. Stay right here, okay? Okay. Thank you again. I'm afraid it's all too much for me to take in. <sighs> Thanks for having me. Wait, could it be? Sir! That! Hmm? What is that? Oh, we call that a book. <gasps> Yahoo! I found one! I finally found a place that has some books! I take it this is your first time seeing one, correct? Yeah! Um, sir, do you know of a shop that sells books? Could you tell me where it is? A shop? I'm afraid they don't exist. There are books here, but no bookstores? They're rare, because books have to be copied by hand, you see. They end up costing so much that very few people can afford them. The one in the case was pawned off by a noble who had no way to pay his debt. I haven't put it on sale. Only other nobles would even think about purchasing something that was so expensive. Hmm. Damn those lucky nobles! In that case... Permission to hold that book? I know I can't buy it, but I'm willing to make do with just holding it. I'd like to at least enjoy the sweet scent of ink. I beg you! I don't exactly know why, but I get the feeling it'd be risky to let you touch it. Huh? Oh, please, mister. I'll just flip through it. I promise to be real careful. No can do. Oh. I understand.
understand. Thank you for looking after my daughter. Right, let's go home, mine. I didn't get to lay a finger on it. I know it's your favorite, so I got some raffle fruit. Mm. Are you still not feeling well? Yeah. They definitely don't have any bookstores in this town. In fact, I might not find them anywhere in this world. I'm not gonna get any books if they don't have any bookstores. What can I do? I'll just have to make them myself! Uh, make what? Oh my! What are you trying to make? Oh, don't mind me! Forget it! I don't care what it takes! I'm gonna get my books if it's the last thing I do! This world won't beat me! So your obsession for books remained with you even after the demise of your former self. <sighs> Makes my head hurt. Oh, come on. What are you complaining about, you old grumpus? You don't even show up mm -hmm. in the story until... <laughs> no spoilers, foolish girl. Watch your tongue. <gasps> 